before she was missing, she had went over to a friend's house, and she come back home with chuck marks on her neck, where he had gotten a hold of her again. A mother of three disappears, and her husband is nowhere to be found. Now, nearly three weeks later, her panicked family is desperately searching for answers with virtually no leads. Did I mention it's been three weeks? Amanda Sinkhorn's brother dropped her off for class September 22nd at Kansas City, Kansas Community College. She told him she was visiting a friend after school but never showed up. Two days later, campus police spot her on surveillance video, but since then she has vanished without a trace. Her brother says the 35-year-old woman was on the verge of filing for divorce before she vanished. The brother claims her estranged husband, Lee Anthony White, was violently abusive, once breaking her arm, her ribs and beating her unconscious. Now, police are not calling White a suspect, but they do want to talk to him. So my question is, why haven't they released his photo? I am outraged. There is no photo of Lee White on this press release about the case. He's missing. Cops want to talk to him. But how can the public provide information about where he is when they don't know what he looks like? And guess what? We here at Issues found him right on Facebook. I'll tell you what shocking information we also discovered on his Facebook page in just a moment. But first out to Amanda's devoted brother, Brandon Dow. Uh, Brandon, what have cops told you is going on with this so-called active investigation? I've been told nothing. They've had uh, very little communication with me. And uh, were you... Well, let, you know what? I'm going to get to the biggest stunner of this case. And Brandon, I want you to look at your monitor so that you can take a look at the Facebook page as we look at it. One of my producers here at Issues found Lee White's page on Facebook. And, and Brandon, take a look at that guy. Is that your sister's husband? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have a monitor in front of oh, me. Oh, you don't? Okay. Well, we discovered some no, jaw-dropping information. Uh, you've confirmed <clears throat> all the, the facts that are uh, about this husband that match up with the facts on his Facebook page. Uh, yes, ma'am. Here's the information. Um, the beginning of August, Lee's relationship status on Facebook was married. Now it says widowed. This is oh. huge. We reached out to campus police and asked them point blank, what do they know about the striking development? Campus police admitted to us they were aware of it and said they're monitoring Facebook pages, but they are not calling the husband a suspect or a person of interest, and they are not releasing his photo. Uh, Bradford Cohen, criminal defense attorney, what the hell's going on here? Yeah, it's, it's kind of surprising that they're not saying he's at least a person of interest. I can understand when you say someone's not a suspect in terms of you don't want to limit yourself to one individual and say that's all we're looking for is this one guy and this is the key to the case, et cetera, et cetera. But it's at least say that he is a person of interest and put his photo out there that he's missing as well. Maybe, you know, both of them disappeared. I mean, there's a lot of angles you could take that I'm very surprised that this uh, police department are, is not taking because you could almost say he's missing as well and then we need to find him maybe he's maybe something happened to him as well we don't know so yeah. wouldn't you want to put your picture out to at least say hey both of these individuals are missing let's keep our eye out for both individuals it's very surprising that this police department is behaving the way they are unless Absolutely. they know something that they're not releasing well yeah and we're not calling this guy we are not calling this guy a suspect we have no idea what happened all we can right. tell you is that she disappears he disappears around the same time and then uh, a person matching his description with all the information that dovetails with his personal information says he's widowed. Uh, here's my big issue tonight. This is not foul play. Cops are not even saying that they think there's any foul play here. But to me, it seems, well, this is more than just a missing person's case. This woman disappears right around the same time her strange husband does. He allegedly had a history of beating her. His Facebook page uh, now reportedly says widowed. Uh, why are they not even Casey Jordan looking at this as foul play? Because they're not taking it seriously and they should be. When a woman goes missing, her husband is automatically going to be a person of interest. Her ex-husband, her boyfriend. But if she's recently estranged from a husband who has a history of violence, who has a history of abusing her, 
that is beyond a person of interest. And in our classes, when we teach the dynamics of domestic violence, students often say, why don't abused women leave? And the answer is because that is when they are most likely to get killed, when they try to emancipate themselves, get control of their own lives. So if she's missing and Lee can't be found and he's changed his status to widowed, there is something going on here that police need to take seriously. We have no evidence that anything good has happened to her, so foul play should be what they assume as they go forward with their investigation. Now, Brandy, Jane, it, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Jane, it could be that they have information that they're not leaking and they're not talking about, and they're not saying he's a suspect because they want to get him to come in. It, there's a lot of different angles on this that we could take. We don't know what they know, and it's certainly they're not going to tell a family member what they know because they're afraid the family member Member might speak about it on air or might speak oh. about it to another family Brandon, member. Brandon, I want to give you the last word on this. What would you like police to do in terms of communicating with you? I would like to know more of what's going on. Uh, so far, we've been kept in the dark about everything. Everything that I have learned has come from other news stations that has told me more than I've received Brandon, from the police Brandon, we're going to get more themselves. to you, more on the other side. Hang in.